it's Nicole and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about somebody special. Now hold your horses. I know you're what you're all thinking. You're probably thinking to yourself, oh my God, Nicole found a man. <laughs> no, did not. So if you think I found a man, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Still haven't found one of those yet. It's, it's a joke, honestly, come on now. Give me a little laugh in the comments. No, okay. So, I have a story to tell you all. Not really a story, but I want to tell you guys about my best friend, Ashley. Anyway, <laughs> I met Ashley on Stan Twitter. I know, Stan Twitter! Who knew? Anyway, I met her at the beginning of 2019. What a year that was. Woo! So here's the story of how I met her. So I was scrolling on Twitter one night and I saw that one of my followers had retweeted a interview that she did with Fox 5. And if you don't know what Fox 5, it's a news like broadcast channel station situation. Anyway, they're the news people. Um, so she was being interviewed for Fox 5. And I clicked on the video and the interviewer had asked her like, what brings you here today? I think that was the question, I'm not sure. So sorry if the question wasn't current. And she talked about BTS and how, you know, their music inspires her and how she loves all seven of them. And I just, I loved her speech. It generally touched me. So I think I like immediately followed her. I was like, I need to follow this person. Like, oh my God, hello. So when I followed her, I commented um, on the tweet and I was just like, oh my God, I love your video. This is so great. We need to be friends. And I slid into her DMs, literally. And we started talking via DMs on Twitter. And we were both Jimin stands. We love Jimin and all that. Like, if y'all do not know, I used to love, uh, I still love Jimin. What are you talking about? Don't get it twisted now. OT7 all the way, okay? Period. Um, <laughs> also, Jimin used to be my bias in BTS. If you don't know what bias means, it means your favorite person, like, you love them. They connect with you the most and you have a lot of common with them and you just get them. So Jimin was my bias for a long time. And then when Euphoria came out, when JK decided to release Euphoria, he said, hey girl, how you doing? And I went over into JK's lane. So I've been a cookie bias, JK bias for a long time and I love JK. I love all seven members of BTS, but I am JK biased. So me and Ashley exchanged phone numbers and we started texting each other and then we got comfortable with each other and started FaceTiming. Now I remember my first FaceTime with her, um, it, she had chocolate covered popcorn. Like it's kind of like an inside joke with us now so like I feel like whenever we meet we have to have chocolate covered popcorn. Like if we don't it's kind of like, come on now. We started with chocolate covered popcorn, we have to have it. Um, also in 2019 in May. I, as you all know, if you are a returning subscriber of mine, you know that I saw BTS at MetLife Stadium on May 18th, 2019, about two years ago. Oh my God, that feels so long ago. And Ashley had saw BTS on night two. I went to night one. So she saw them the day after, on the 19th. I wish I could have stayed and, and saw BTS night two, but I was broke and I, was, I could barely even afford to do the night one. But I honestly, like, I would do it again. <laughs> no lie. So, um, Ashley was going through a really tough patch during that time. She had met some fake friends. I'm not really going to get into that. It's not any of my business to share on the internet for the whole world to hear it. That's not my... Oh, I'm getting a text. I'm going to have to wait, boo. Um, so... Ashley and I started this friendship and honestly like I am so happy to have her because if I she's two years older than me by the way and I'm two years younger so fun fact about me and, and Ashley is that Jimin is two years older than JK me and Jimin are the same age I'm 25 about to be 26 which is insane and JK is 24 24 25 
I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. But um, me and Ashley have a bond like Jimin and JK do, like sort of like a sisterhood, you know what I'm saying? Like Jimin and JK are like brothers, but me and Ashley are like sisters. And she's like the older sister that I've always wanted. And as you all know, um, last year for my 25th birthday, Ashley sent me a package of a lot of like presents that so she went and hand shopped for me. We do that every year. Like it's like a tradition for us as best friends to like shop for each other. And I sent her a package for her birthday and she sent me a package for mine. I will insert a picture right here of all the stuff she sent me. I am so happy. It's not usually all about gifts, but she really hit it out of the park with my 25th birthday. Like, oh my gosh, she made me feel so special. We FaceTimed. We had cake over FaceTime. I had myself some Carvel cake, and she sang happy birthday to me, and she just made me feel so special. It was just amazing. It was like my second birthday without my dad, and it was really hard because it was just me, my mom, and Ashley just chilling, eating cake, enjoying life. <laughs> And you would think to yourself, like, Nicole, how long do you and Ashley talk on FaceTime? Girl, listen, <laughs> we talk for like a long time, like six, seven hours, literally no joke, no lie. I'm not even joking. We do not shut up. It's mostly just me and her talking like back and forth about life and BTS. And I tell her what goes on at work and I hear about what's going on in her life. And I'm just so forever grateful and blessed to have her. Like she has been my best friend for almost three years now. And I'm just gonna tell you guys, like we, me and Ashley were supposed to meet on September 26th, but due to the state of the world right now, it's just not going to happen and it just really bums me out because I was really looking forward to actually meeting her and I was gonna vlog guys. I had a whole vlog planned out to film in New York. Like, I was gonna film it from memory so that I can remember, you know, meeting her. Like I was gonna put a whole video together. Like I had a whole itinerary planned out to meet her and it's just, <sighs> the world is just not fair. Like, <sighs> It's ridiculous, but I will meet her one day. I swear I'm going to put it on my bucket list I want to meet her because she and I have been through a lot together She was there for me when my dad passed away like and I was there for her when she was going through her rough patch with her fake friends and I just want to give out a public service announcement if any of you fake people that decided to ruin Ashley's life and put her um, personal um secrets online you honestly like I, I don't even have anything nice to say i'm not even gonna say anything at all but i hope that ashley watches this video and she and i have an amazing bond and i i'm so grateful that she's in my life and she supports my love of taylor swift and of olivia rodrigo and all these artists that i stand <laughs> i don't just stand bts i stand so many artists like my wallet is crying like oh my gosh but I don't know what I would do without her. Like she is my rock and I appreciate her so much. She makes me laugh. She's always there for me. Um, I'm always there for her. Like friendship is a two way street and both of us, um, her parents are fantastic. I love her mom and dad. They're amazing humans and she's an amazing human. So Ashley, if you're watching this video, I know you're watching because I promised you that I would make this video for you. Um, I love you so much. You're an amazing best friend to me. And one day we will meet, I promise. But I love you all so much. Let me know if you guys um, have a special best friend you want to tell me about in the comments. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I have a lot of videos coming. You don't want to miss them. Turn on them post notifications. And I will see your beautiful face in the next video. Bye, y'all.